What's up YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I'm here for my answer to the purple car challenge put out by Tony's Diecast Customs. Um, you guys gotta check his channel out. He's got an awesome channel. Uh, it's really cool when he does it with his kid too. He has his son on there and they both look at the cars together. So, really awesome channel. I'll leave a link description in the description below to his channel. You guys can check him out. But thanks, Tony, for putting this challenge out. It's awesome. A few more purple cards than I thought I would have. Um, I didn't go through everything, but I did find some. So tried to get some different brands and that and mix it up as best I could. But most of it's going to be Hot Wheels. So this first one, though, was an Ertl. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this car before. It has suspension. It is whatever that is. Mitsuyoko Orochi. So this is all purple. That opens up. Show the motor. Or whatever. That's luggage, I guess. Yeah, I thought it'd be rear engine, but it's not. I don't know what that is. Well, yeah, I guess that's the engine. Yep. Yeah. So pretty cool. Metal base, metal body. Figured it'd be something different to show. Pretty cool. I've had it for a while. Since my kid was real small. It was one of his cars. Next up. One of my favorite fantasy castings. The Evil Twin. Done in this Joker pattern. Right, we're going to have to put it on for these non-rubber tire cars. Just forget that. This is a really awesome looking casting. Took me a while to get this one, but I finally snagged it. But I like this casting. I still haven't done a custom up one. I really got to do one. This has some cool graphics all over it. Definitely in purple. Really cool. Okay, next up we have 70 Chevelle SS Super Treasure Hunt. Here's the TH right there. My favorite Hot Wheels casting. Awesome casting. <clears throat> this is a beautiful super treasure, and I actually got this one by accident. I know I've told the story before. I don't know if everybody knows it, but I ordered the regular car off a website. I forgot which one it was. And they sent me the super for like five bucks I got real lucky on that yep beautiful super next up's a custom I did a long time ago when I was first started doing customs I think it was probably my fourth custom third custom GMC cyclone came out really cool I like it Purple, two toned it with the chrome wheels. Which came out pretty good for when I was starting out. A little detailing there, detailing there needs okay. But, yep, a little cyclone. Next up, we're going to have an M2 71 Dodge Charger. Cool. 
wool casting. Really nice. I like the wheels on it. Go good with it. Cool Mopar graphics on the sides. Nice M2. This is an auto driver, so nothing opens. Plastic body. Well, plastic base, metal body. Really nice. Next up, we got a Jada. Um, let's see if I can tell what the other airflow tanker. I love these airflow tankers by Jada. Of course, it's not 164, it's way bigger, but they are awesome. I have a couple of them. I'd like to get some more someday. It's just got a beautiful shape and design to them. I love them. But it's not all purple, but she's got purple on half of her. But it's a beautiful truck. I wish they still made these and they were out. I'd love to, to customize one of these. It'd be great. Looks like it has a lot of real estate to put stuff on and do stuff with. It's pretty looks pretty fun to do one on. Yeah, who knows? Maybe the yard sale they I'll find a junk one. But yeah. Rock this baby. Bite you back. Really cool. Nice wheels. They do a good job. You know, it's not 164th. I love them. They look good. All right. Next up, we'll do another Hot Wheels. Let's do a Hot Wheels Classics. 70 Chevelle SS. Beautiful car. Beautiful purple color. Love the wheels. Love Hot Wheels Classics. My favorite. I got them all up in the display finally. I'm pretty sure I found them all and got them up there now. So I have probably almost a hundred Hot Wheels Classics now. I think I still have a couple more in cases I have to find. Yep. Love them. You know the plastic tires are always nice looking plastic tires. Metal base. Beautiful paint jobs on them. I love the paint jobs, Spectra Flame paint jobs. Usually detailed all the way around. This one's detailed all the way around. Some aren't, but most of them are. What a beautiful Chevelle that is. I have five different color variations of that. These were actually the first Hot Wheels classics I got were the Chevelles. Alright, let's do another one. 57 Bel Air Convertible Hot Wheels Classics. The beautiful car. I have six variations, five variations of this one, too. Color variations. All have white interiors. Are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love displaying these. They look so good in display case. They really do. Yeah. Nice interior. Came with a nice steering wheel, not a pizza pan. Like I said, the wheels are nice. Had a good year on it. And yeah, see, this one doesn't have the back done because it has the sides done. It doesn't even have the front done on this one. But metal base. Awesome. All right, next up, we got a Nissan Skyline from Japan Historics 2. Awesome car. Probably the best car in that series. In my opinion. Awesome looking. Tires are perfect. Color is perfect. Just looks great. Got a couple little decals on there, not over the top. So awesome looking. 
Nice tan interior. Love that. Very beautiful car. Nice paint job. She's a beauty. The taillights are done very nicely, too. Definitely awesome car. This next one, I don't know, I guess it could be considered purple. It's close. Yeah, just a different shade than these. Is the 55 gas or the big deal from the 50th anniversary set? That set was 12 cars, premium set. I have the whole set. One of the first premium sets I got when I started collecting. Um, I ordered off eBay. It just had awesome cars in it. They're all awesome. I had to get that set. A great set. This gas is beautiful gasser. Windshield's not too bad with it, I guess. It'd be better if it wasn't that color, but it's not horrible. But, yep. Nice one, definitely. Alright, next up. I don't know the full thing of this car because it isn't written, but I know it's a BMW. Check that real quick. I'm sure everybody's seen this car before. Cool gasser. Next up, we got a BMW Mini GT. This is a color shift, so it'll be purple and green. I don't know how well the color shift will show up here, but you take it outside and it does. Beautiful car by Mini GT. They do a great job in their color shift paints, too. Let's see, maybe a closer look here. Yeah, you can see it does it a little bit here, but it's more, way more prevalent outside and better lighting. But this is a beautiful car. Yeah, it's Mini GT. time all right we got the Datsun 510 Kaido house how to bring this one out that's a beautiful purple car Love these, love these cars. I'm only really missing one so far. Is the other 46 Brie. I only bought the one, but I know I'm going to probably break down and buy it. I have the other two wagons coming, the green and the pink. And they'll be coming early next week. I love these. I want to get a nice display case just for these with like some kind of scene or something like a little diorama. It'd be awesome to display like that, but we'll see. But these are beautiful. Everybody knows what they are now. There's tons of them out now. It's got the yellow engine in it. Love it. It's such a beautifully done car. Mm. God, I love these cars. And they got the 240Zs, I think, coming out now. I've seen pictures on Instagram. They look freaking amazing. All right, one more, guys. Last up. Let's get this off of here. This is a heavy one. The Thunder Roller. The RLC. Another show with a Thunder Roller in it. Love it. Look at that beautiful car. Love this truck. Mmm.
did a great job on this RLC. It's a big boy right there. Beautiful. One of the best RLCs I have, I think. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. Heavy, big. I'd take this over that Nissan that came out any day that I didn't get, but everybody was dying over. I'd take this hands down over that. Beautiful. So that'll do it for me, guys, for this challenge. Um, thanks again, Tony. Tony's Diecast Customs. Leave a link below for his channel. Check him out. Um, this was a great challenge, Tony. Thanks for putting it out. I had fun with this one. Picking out all the purple cars. Awesome. Thanks again, everybody, for all the comments and the likes. Take care. Have a great night.